Hello, 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 and welcome to the Academy of Useless Ideas. Today we are taking a deep dive into the juicy details of topology and continuity. These two concepts are like peas in a pod, peanut butter and jelly, or even Batman and Robin. They just belong together. Our goal is to provide a mind-bending generalization of continuity that will work for any space, even those without a metric. You might be thinking, what's the point of such a thing? Well, my friends, by distilling concepts to their core, we can unlock mathematical insights that will leave you in awe. In this case, our journey into the heart of continuity will give birth to the concept of topology, the study of the shape of sets. So get ready to explore the secret nooks and crannies of the mathematical universe and discover the beautiful interplay between continuity and topology. Let's dive in. Our current definition of continuity can be a bit unwidely as it relies on open balls, but there is a more elegant way to think about it. We can redefine continuity in terms of open sets. A function f from x to y is continuous if and only if the preimage of every open set in y is open in x. This means that continuity preserves the shape of y in x, even if x might have additional open sets. It's like tracing a picture onto a new sheet of paper. The details might change, but the overall shape remains the same. Continuity ensures that the essence of Y is faithfully captured in X without any significant distortion. To prove the forward direction, let's assume that F is a continuous function, O is an open set of Y, and X is a point in the preimage of O. Our goal is to show that X is an interior point of the preimage. Since O is open, then F of X is an interior point of O, and therefore there exists an open ball by centered at f of x that is completely contained in O. By the continuity of f, we know that there exists an open ball bx centered at x such that f of bx is contained in by. This means that the open ball bx is completely contained in the preimage of O because any point of bx maps to a point in by, which is in turn completely contained in O. Therefore, x is an interior point of the preimage of O, and so the preimage of O is open as desired. To prove the other direction for a given point x in x, pick an arbitrary open ball by around f of x. By the premise, x is an interior point of the preimage of by, and therefore we can find an open ball bx around x that is completely containing the preimage of by. From that, we conclude that f bx is contained in by which is the original definition of continuity. This relationship between continuity and open sets suggests that two spaces are the same in terms of their shape when there is a continuous bijection with a continuous inverse between them. Such bijections, also known as homeomorphisms, preserve the open sets in each space. This is similar to how two sets have the same size when there is a bijection between them. However, in the case of topology, we are not concerned with preserving the number of elements in the sets, but rather the structure of their open sets. Homeomorphisms preserve this structure, allowing us to say that the two spaces are topologically equivalent. The open sets define what is known as the topology of a set. In mathematical terms, a topology over a set X is a collection of subsets of X, known as the open sets, that satisfy the following axioms. First, both X and the empty set are open sets. Second, arbitrary unions of open sets are open. And third, finite intersections of open sets are open. The open sets of a metric space, as we defined them earlier, satisfy these three axioms. However, topologies can be defined for non-metric spaces as well. For example, consider a real line with a topology formed by open intervals from a number a to infinity. Both our definition of convergence and continuity can be extended to any topological space, that is, to any set endowed with a topology. So go ahead and imagine what convergence and continuity would mean for the topology of open intervals described above. <laughs> 